Yeah. Well, it takes a lot of trucks to lay 40 million pounds of salt, which is what the city did last night. And here at the salt shed here on the Lower East Side, we've been watching those trucks come in and over and over again throughout the night to gear up and get out onto the road. But let me show you the roads while we're talking about it here because all the hard work those trucks put in overnight, and this is what the roads look like this morning. Of course, if you're out in the car, you want to take it slow, leave that space between the car in front of you. But it really is not too bad out here from what we can report from what we're seeing out here on the Lower East Side. The snow still still flurrying, still falling, but a lot of hard work to get the roads looking like this this morning. The city saying they have a record number of sanitation workers in the, in the department right now. So it was um, the deployment overnight was a lot smoother than they could have had expected or that, they, that they'd seen in previous years. We know, too, that they did have new technology this year that they deployed uh, to make sure the roads were in tip-top shape here ahead of this morning commute. The first measurable snowfall, like we keep talking about here this morning, that the city has seen in quite some time. This is a look overnight at how the trucks came in one after another after another to fill up with the salt to get back out on the roads. One sanitation worker telling me that uh, everything seemed to be going smoothly from where he was sitting. He was monitoring all those trucks coming back in and gearing up as necessary. Back out here live, we're still watching the snowfall. Uh, it does make you feel like a kid again, like I know we've been talking about this morning, but as far as the roads go, uh, we're not seeing too much from where we are in terms of anything keeping people um, from that morning commute today. And it's not stopping any New Yorkers. We're seeing more and more people out on the roads, walking their dogs, walking to work, wherever they're going today. That is the latest from the Lower East Side. I'm Julie Malay, Pix 11 News.